are practicing social distancing, every trip to the grocery store or the gas station right now can bring additional exposure to germs back home with you. And that includes, you know, into your home, your kitchen, your office, lots yes. of places. Yeah, you know, a lot of you are working from home right now. So joining us to talk more about general home sanitizing and germ prevention, Brian Thompson from Advana Clean in Washington County. Thanks for joining us. You, know, you guys have been flooded with calls from what I understand. So what are some of the tips when it comes to sanitizing your home? Uh, good morning and, and thanks for having us uh, again. Appreciate that. We were there not too long ago. Um, so I usually don't like to recommend using bleach, but in, in light of this uh, specific scenario that we're living in today, uh, typically you're going to use a bleach water solution a little bit of bleach, say like mm, a third a cup to a gallon or four teaspoons to a quart of water. And what you're gonna do is you are going to clean all the high touch surfaces like, well, in your home office, it would be your keyboards, your mouses, your screens on your computer, your phone, anything that you're gonna touch. And then you really have to think about that, right? Um, and then tables, um, but you can also carry that into the kitchen all the door handles in your house, um, you know, car door handles, those kinds of things. Anywhere that your hands are going to touch, you're going to need to clean that. And there's a specific way to clean that. Yeah. So, Brian, let's talk about this kind of the technique to wipe it down. And then also mm -hmm. how long this solution has to sit on stuff. Because I know I've, I've read the fine print on the back of some of those cleaning oh, products. You read that. And I never says, do. <laughs> yeah. And it says it has to stay wet for like 60 seconds or, or more than a oh. minute. I didn't realize that you can't just spray it and wipe it and be done. Mm. Yeah, no, that's absolutely correct. Um, you have to allow what, what we call dwell time, right? Uh, allow the, the magic to work. You know, the cleaning solution needs to be able to sit for a specified amount of time, whether it be 30 seconds or 60 seconds. 60 seconds is, is great because it does allow the time to clean. Um, but as far as actual wiping, we suggest using, well, a number of things. This is a microfiber towel. And if you can get different colors for different rooms, we suggest that. But what's most important here is that, you know, the way we're used to cleaning is you spray and then you just clean like this, right? Well, in this scenario, you actually want to fold your towel into one fold, two folds. Then you have eight sides to work with. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so, but you're going to, you're going to use one side, you'll wipe, you'll flip the towel, use another side to wipe, then you'll open it up, do the other side and the other side, then you'll open up the towel and do the process again. You don't want to do this because then you're just spreading the worm, the germs around. Okay, I have oh. done this wrong like my that. entire life. <laughs> Apparently, so you're, not, you're kind of going from like dirty to clean. I've used the same fold. side the whole time. Yeah, yeah I, I, I guess everybody I, does. Yeah, I know. And so, and then you mentioned the the color coded cleaning. You talked about using different color towels. Yeah, and I apologize, I don't have another towel with me, but yeah, use yellow for example for the kitchen and then use a blue one for the bathroom. Um, maybe even use a different color for each bathroom, right? Because then you're not cross-contaminating from room to room to room. It may seem too detailed, but why not, right? It's our health that we're worried about. Sure, yeah. and then to clean those towels, if you just run them through like a hot load in the washer, is that good enough? Yeah, uh, cleaning your towels, obviously in the wash is good. What I do recommend with microfiber, um, don't clean these with other kinds of towels like cotton terry towels okay. only clean your microfiber together uh, with microfiber because it actually can reduce the effectiveness of its cleanness if that makes uh, sense yeah well okay. i just yeah. i throw every like even i'll throw clothes into the right. same laundry that, as the towels yeah. i've used so that's not good something. either i take it well, I mean, it, it, it'll work for a while, but if, if you feel the microfiber, it's kind of sticky and that's, that's its magic. Yeah. So if you can wash just those together, that's always best because their effectiveness will last a lot longer. Interesting. Mm. I like the idea of the microfiber cloth, though, because, you know, yeah. it saves you on the paper towels, too, that no oh, one can buy when, you're, when exactly. you're at the store. <laughs> Brian, in your um, expertise, in your opinion, what's like the most overlooked area? What's the one spot that you want everyone to clean today that maybe people haven't cleaned? Um, probably door handles, door handles and um, uh, chairs. 
-hmm. right? Because oh, you use your hand yeah. to, to, to pull your chair out. To pull the, chair uh, the tops out. of chairs, yeah, the it, arms of chairs. In, yeah. this, in this day and age, should we be doing that like every day with what we're going through or how often? Uh, I would say two to three times a day for sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah the chairs that one got me yeah. i haven't done that haven't gonna wipe them down it. when i get home yeah. all right brian thompson from advanta clean of washington county thank you so much we always appreciate the expert advice stay healthy thank you